All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the elders of Apostle Great Millstone, who taught me the truth and rule well. Peace, blessing, salutation, I can buy there. It's going to brought to for our cousin on earth. That's certain the truth, not true to say it. I say Shalom. That's a lucky about the little beeping noise. Uh, but this is your brother in the Bible. Come to another video in the spirit. And this video is going to be about uh, seeking counsel. Okay, you know, we got to understand us being part of this ministry, man, that we have, we have, um, elders, we have men that set up over us, okay, that we, that we should use, you know, for, uh, for advice, okay, you know, because being a part of this ministry, you know, is sometimes, you know, dealing with, dealing with life and dealing with the situation that we have, you know, we may need advice. You can't be out here just acting on your own or doing things on your own. OK, it's good to, uh, to seek counsel because seeking counsel can help prevent a lot of situations. OK, and, you know, even if it's, it could be a simple situation, if you're not sure about it. You know, if you just ask and get some clarification about it, it can it can that can be beneficial as well. OK, but, you know, I just want to go into uh, seeking counsel because that's very important, you know, especially being a part of this ministry. You know, we can't be out here just thinking that we'd uh that we got it all figured out on our own you know and also uh not not doing things in order like the scriptures say you know scriptures say let all things be done and decently and in order so you know there's an order to this thing so when it's uh when it's a uh, especially a very you know big decision that has to be made about something that's something that's like life altering that's going to affect your life in a in a major way then you should you should seek counsel about it, okay? Because that's why we have brothers set up in this ministry, you know, to look to look after us, you know, and to, and to be there for when we need them. Because say you go ahead and make that decision on your own and make whatever decision you, decision that you were thinking about on your own without seeking counsel, and then it can have some repercussions. Then at the end of the day, what are you gonna have to do anyway? You're gonna have to seek and ask brothers um, for counsel or advice or help in the end. So to prevent all that from happening. You know, just go ahead and do the proper steps that we're, that we're supposed to do, you know, and just seek counsel from the beginning and everything will be all good in the end. So I'm going to grab this. This is uh, Proverbs 11 and 14. It says, where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety con. So there is no counsel, people fall. So when you go out here not seeking counsel, not doing and not basically getting no advice and just doing your own thing, then what? You're going to fall. OK, because you didn't you didn't you didn't get no wisdom about the situation. But he says, but in the multitude of the concerts, there are safety. Yeah. So when you when you're uh, having counsel, with not just one, but multiple brothers. OK, then ultimately the best decision is going to be made. You know, the best the best outcome is going uh, the best decision for the outcome is going to be made. And, it, and it's going to probably be a way that's going to prevent you from having to go to go through something that you won't have to go through. That's that's the benefits of, of having a sinking council, man. And and we're we're um, we're lucky to have men in this thing that's been this thing um, multiple years before us. You know, that's been through the things that we're going through, you know, as younger brothers in this truth, you know. So we, we can go and ask them and they can give us a great insight about stuff because they've already been through it. And that's all. That's a beautiful thing about this brotherhood that we have brothers that's been through it. The scriptures talk about that. Okay, and your brother, you 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 have the same afflictions. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture, the scriptures talk about that. So it's nothing that you can feel like you have to go out here on your own to do without and can't ask brothers about it because you got brothers that come from all walks of life and have been through basically the similar thing we're going through. You know. So let me go. Let me come over here. This is uh, Proverbs 12 and 15. It say, Salagi again. It says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearken unto counsel is wise. Khan says, The way of the fool is right to his own eyes. So basically, um, you're considered a fool. Because what you, what you think is, you think you're doing the right thing. You think you're doing the right thing, basically. 
but that's the way of a fool. You know, if you you looking at it like, okay, this how I would handle it, or this how I want to do it, so I'm gonna do it that way, and you end up messing up. It says, but but he that hearkened to counsel is wise. Yeah, he that hearkened to counsel is wise because it'll pre like I just been saying, it's gonna prevent you from uh, making a mistake. Okay, and that's that that's the type of thinking you had in the world, man. You know, Jake. Jake be out here thinking they can do everything on their own, or or the way they see something is the is the only way to uh to go about handling something, and that's not the case. You know, that's why we have to seek counsel. Okay, now and I'm not talking about just go talk to brothers about any and everything. No, you know, you, you know some things you know it's just common sense, but we're talking about the matters that that will that will affect brothers. Okay, if it's something that can affect the brethren or or that can affect the ministry. Or has something to do with multiple brothers, then you see counsel about it. Even sometimes when it just has to do with yourself. If it's a if it's like a a life, like a like I said, like a life changing event, and you you ask counsel about it, and you and you get brothers' advice about it before you just go ahead and just act on it. You know. So I'm gonna come over here. This is Proverbs 15 and 22. It says, "Without counsel." Purpose, purposes are disappointed, but in the months of the counselors, they are established. God, there you go. Just further backing up the point. It says, without counsel, purposes are disappointed. Yeah. So you can go out here having a purpose set up, thinking that you about to about to establish it, but no, it's disappointing because what you didn't see counsel, and that's and that's and that has happened. You know, being part of this ministry, I have witnessed that happen. You know, brothers that haven't seek the proper counsel or, or seek or seek the right advice. You know. The purpose they had that they have set out to do, the Lord basically didn't let it didn't let it uh come forth. But you see when it says, but but it's the scripture says, but in the months of counsel they are established. So when you see counsel and brothers tell you how they think you should do about something, go about doing it, and you do it that way, then the Lord is gonna help it set up. He's gonna help you accomplish it. Because what? You you see counsel because ultimately the counsel is coming from who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It's coming from the Lord. So the Lord is not going to tell you to do something that he wouldn't want you to do. Okay? The scriptures talk about when two or three are gathered, he's in the midst. So when you're having counsel amongst two or three brethren, Yahweh Shai is in the mix. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is in the mix of it. And that's something you have to always keep in your minds. Okay? We have, that we have to keep in our minds because when we do these videos and, you know, we're exhort, exhorting brothers, we also talk to ourselves as well. So we have to keep that in our minds as well. That that when we go talk to brothers and, and we're and we're having these conversations and these counsel with brothers, that it's not just it's not just a man talking, you know, it's it's the Lord talking through them. And that's one thing that we have to always remember. You know, that's that's a mindset that we have to put off. That's how people think in the world, man. You know, people in the world was like, oh no, this like they look at us when we when we're speaking on the highways and byways, you know, they look at us like we're just men. But no, we're not. You know, we're the Lord's vessels, man. We're we're the Lord's um chess pieces. The Lord is using us, you know, to what to spread his message. So and the same thing applies to when when we're, when you're having counsel. The Lord is using the brothers to talk to talk to you. Because the Lord is not gonna talk to you himself. That's why he set up men to do so. So that's why it's also important to see counsel as well. So I'm gonna grab this last one. Proverbs 19 and 20 It says Hear counsel and receive Instruction that thou mightest Be wise in thy latter end Con so it says hear counsel And receive instruction so when you When you are Getting counsel You hear it but also receive it You know don't just Don't just let it go in through one ear One ear and out the other no actually Listen to the whole Whole Listen to everything that's being said, you know, and digest it and do it. Okay? Receive it. Because when you receive something, when you receive something, you basically accept it. So accept the counsel you, you've been given. It says that thou might be wise and not let her in. Because in the end is what? It's going to help you. Okay? It, it's giving you wisdom about a situation. It's, it's giving you wisdom how to do how to deal with the situation. 
And then as, as, as time progress, you know, say you have to be the one who's giving counsel, you know, to another brother. You can get, you'll be able to give the same wisdom that was given to you because you're able to, you, you received it and you, and you held on to it. And that's the important thing, you know, when you're hearing, don't just, don't just seek counsel, seek counsel just to give brothers opinion and you're still in the back of your mind, you're going to do what you want to do. No, you're supposed to, if brothers tell you to do this or to don't do this, you're supposed to listen and you're supposed to do that. But if you do the opposite of that, then obviously, then basically you're you're going against your how about Shem Shai because like I said, the, that's how the Lord speaks to us. He speaks to us through the men that's set up. So always remember, brothers, you know, to seek counsel, man. It's gonna save a lot of trouble in the end. You know, don't be trying to the scriptures say, woe to them to seek to seek to hide a deep counsel for the Lord. That's talking about the wicked. Okay, but how much more us? You know, if you if you seeking to try to to, to uh, you trying to do things on the low, you know, you ain't trying to let brothers know, you ain't trying to tell brothers, or you trying to do stuff without uh, without permission or without consulting the brothers, is eventually it's gonna come out, man. Scripture talking about what's done in the dark must will come to the light. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture. So and that and that's talking about uh, that's talking about. Uh, that's, that I mean that that relates to Esau too, but that talks about a lot, a lot, you know, life in general. You know, that things that's done in dark will come to the light. Okay, so always remember that that the Lord is watching. The Lord is all seeing everything, and if you're out here trying to move on the low, the Lord is gonna bring it to light. So to to prevent all of that from happening, just seek counsel, man. Follow order. So, Lord, when this video is edifying, I'm going to close. I'll be giving our praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash, Shalom.